Hello, it's 26th of January, 2024, and I hope you're doing great. Okay, what is our topic today for Word for Today from UCB Ireland? Okay, our topic says insecurity in leadership. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And our Bible reading is taken from John chapter 12, verse 43. And I read from my Bible. For they love the praise of men more than the praise of God. Mm, okay. The Bible says many people did believe in him. However, including some of the Jewish leaders, but they wouldn't admit it for fear that the Pharisees would expel them from synagogue. For they loved human praise more than the praise of God. How secure are you as a leader? When someone else has a great idea, do you support it or suppress it? Do you celebrate other people's successes or feel threatened by them? If your answers are that you suppress and feel threatened, you have a problem with insecurity and you need to deal with it in order to fully succeed in what God has called you to do. Observe, number one, insecure leaders create insecurity in others. The old saying goes, you cannot give what you do not have. Likewise, without security, you cannot make others feel secure. And to be an effective leader, the kind that others want to follow, you need to make those who follow you feel good about themselves. Hmm. Number two, insecure leaders take more from people than they give. They are on a constant quest for recognition, validation, and love. Because of that, their attention is on finding security and not imparting it to others. They are most takers, not givers, and takers don't make good leaders. Number three, insecure leaders continually limit their best people. They hoard power. In fact, the better their followers are, the more threatened the leaders feel, and the harder they work to limit their followers, success and recognition. If these things describe you, read this. Love each other with genuine affection and take delight in honoring each other. Romans 12, verse 10. Wow. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What is this trying to teach us? Some people actually love human praise than God's praise. Do you celebrate other people's success? Do you make sure that those who follow you, that you're leading, do you make sure that they feel good about themselves? Do you feel threatened by someone else's success? That makes you feeling what insecure about yourself. For you to be a good leader, that means you're there to support everybody because if it is better for the people that you're supporting, definitely you will be happy and feel what fulfilled. And you'll be happy that someone is taking over from you without feeling insecure. But if you are a bad leader, you will be afraid that people might take your slot and you will feel insecure. Also, you'll be afraid of people being under you. Mm -hmm. But that is not what Christ is trying to tell us, okay? Be there to support people. Some people feel that, oh, if I give this person a chance now, they will be what? Over me. And I'm going to be under them. And that makes people insecure. But that is not what God is trying to tell us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Remember what Jesus did. Jesus gave people so many chances. Giving them chances does not mean that he doesn't understand what they intend to do or even say. But he actually still gave them chance to express themselves. Okay. And after that, what did he do? He taught them the right way. And that is what God, you know, expects from us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Also remember that you cannot give what you don't have. So if you have insecurity that somebody is going to be more than you because you give them opportunity, that means you're not ready to be a good leader. So be a good leader by giving other people chance. Because if people behind you are following you, or following your footsteps are doing right, that means you are a good leader. Praise the Lord. You can't have it all. So understand that no one is there to take over you. All you need to do is pray for them, serve them, it's for you to become a good leader, you have to also be a good listener and a good word servant. Serving people does not mean that you're serving them, you're being under them. When you treat your employees well, what is going to be the result? They will respect you. 
they will understand it. So you treating them well does not mean you're going under them. You're belittling yourself. You're giving them, you're showing them, you're, you're showing them the real meaning of good leadership. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So insecurity in leadership. Try and make sure that you are not trying to maybe believe that somebody is going to be better than you because you have given them opportunity to learn from you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And from doing that, you're going to have your unending blessings from God. Uncountable. I want to thank you so much for listening. And don't forget that this is an excerpt from UCB Ireland. All right. If you have not started reading the whole Bible, we've already started that. Okay. It's not late for you. Kindly refer back to my previous videos from 1st January to 25th of January. Down in the description, you're going to see all the chapters we've read. And for today, okay, we are reading Exodus chapter 7 to chapter 8 and Matthew 15. 1 to 20. Thank you so much again for listening and God bless you. Have a lovely day. Make sure to become a good leader and not a bad one. Show example by leading good. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'll see you next time. God bless you.